Hello again, Casa friends. Miss Mia here with yet another language lesson. They're just my favorite, so I have to keep giving them to you. Ah, uh, we're gonna talk about some more phonograms today. You probably remember from your lesson with sh, ch, and th that a phonogram is a letter or a group of letters that represent one sound. So we need phonograms to read and to write. We need them to spell words and to read words. Today, the sound that all of our phonograms are making, all of these, look at them all, is E. And the long E sound is represented by this symbol up here. So whenever you see an E with a line over the top, we know that that's the E sound, not the E sound. So really, a person could argue that the English language is pretty crazy because it gives us so many different ways of spelling the same sound, E. Whether it's just one letter or two letters, E, 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 A, E, I, I, E, I sound a bit like old MacDonald had a farm, all of these can be used to spell the sound E in different words. So if I were to give you a three period lesson, it would be probably the easiest one in all of eternity. Because when I said point to E, you could point here, 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 and you would be correct because they all say E. You would need to be an octopus to point to all of these E's at once in this three period lesson. Or when I asked you, what is this? E, what is this? E, what is this? E, what is this? E, what is this? E. You would always be giving me the same answer because all of these say E. It just depends on the word you're seeing them in. So let's look at our first row of phonograms that make the sound E. What do you notice about these? Well, each of them are made up of two sounds, so there's something called a team. And each of these are made up of two sounds that are hmm, vowels or consonants. What do you think? You're right, vowels. So in our first row of phonograms that make the sound E, all of them are made from vowel teams that come together to spell the sound E. I have a little trick for you. It's something that I've noticed, but it doesn't happen every time. Sometimes there's exceptions, but in most vowel teams, when you see two vowels in a row, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, they come together to make the sound that is the name of the first letter in the vowel team. So for example, eh, eh, or ee -E says e. What is the name of the first letter in this vowel team? E, so e. What is the long vowel name of the first letter in this team? E, and that says E, E-I say, says E. So that's not the case in this one. So there's always exceptions to patterns and rules. But in most vowel teams that you see, vowel teams make the sound of the long vowel name of the first letter in that team. So here we go, E, 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 E. Let's look at some words that have these vowel teams in them. And let's read them. B, see it there? Tree. Both have the phonogram E making the E sound. Next one. Ear. That's right. Let's try the next one. Scream! Did I scare you? Hope I didn't wake the baby up. Please do not scream in my ear. Both have the phonogram E, spelt with an E and an A this time. Protein, protein. So again, to remind you, phonograms can come anywhere in the world. They can come, they can be in the middle, they can be at the beginning, they can be at the end. In this case of the word protein, the phonogram's in the middle. What's our next word with this phonogram making the E sound? Seize. That's right. The man with the big muscles seized his protein shake. And 
now for IE making the E sound. What does that say? Boogie! That's right. Not the kind that comes from your nose. Come on. Boogie. And on the back I have another word that has the IE phonogram on the end making the E sound. Well, if that's boogie, this must be woogie. Can you dance the boogie woogie? On to the next row. Here is another team of letters making the E sound, but this time, well, it's a vowel consonant team, or you could say it's a vowel vowel team too, because the Y can be a vowel or a consonant. So I kind of put it in the middle here. So let's look at some words that make the E sound. Or that have the E sound with E and Y. Donkey, that's right. Donkey, in the word donkey, E-Y makes the E sound, the long E sound. And hockey, a Canadian's favorite sport, eh? Mm -hmm. In hockey, we see the phonogram E-Y again making the E sound. On our bottom row, we have single letter phonograms making the E sound. Let's look at some words with examples of those phonograms. phonograms. Jolly, there you go. Try and read these by yourself and see if you can say them before me. It's like a race. And belly, belly. So now it's the Y making the E sound. Who is that guy that travels the world in December with a jolly laugh and a big belly? Hmm, I think you know. And who would have thunk it? Sometimes E makes the E sound, the letter E. So I have examples of many little words that you see when you're reading all the time that make the sound E just from the letter E. We've got me, we, he, and she. These are all pronouns, by the way, words that you can use to replace now. That's a lesson for another day. I think you've had it, but we'll do one again. And last but not least, sometimes the letter I can even make an E sound again. English is coconuts. Here we go. Try and read that word with the letter I making the E sound. It's a single letter phonogram in this word. Kiwi, that's right. It's either a fruit, a green fruit with lots of seeds or a person that comes from New Zealand. And last but not least, oh, be careful you don't shake that please. You can knock it over. Police. I stole a bag of kiwis and the police arrested me. True story, not really. Okay, so we had a chance to look at various, numerous, many phonograms, phonograms whoop, that make the E sound. We've read some words with those phonograms in them, and now I think you might be ready to move on to your special book full of phonograms that make the E sound. Many activities in this book about the E sound. Have a great day. We'll see you again soon for another language lesson with Miss Mia. Oh, in my name, I have that one, that phonogram. Okay, bye. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody.